Hey everybody, I'm back again with another TF2 video. There's so many gimmicks out there on YouTube, you know, especially in the TF2 space, you know, it's like you need to just get these absurd amount of kills and spend insane amounts of money and just do these insane challenges. But how long has it been since you guys have sat down and just relax, you know, put on a video like this, just chill out, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you can hear it through my mic, but I've the sounds of uh, nature outside it's like it's night and there's like bugs and shit screaming you know having sex all that all that cool stuff that bugs do that i don't anyways what am i gonna be doing tonight well uh it's, it's just gonna be super chill you know i'm just gonna sit back relax talk to you guys play some sniper you know But yeah, I'm just thinking I sit back, do some sniping, do some yapping, you know, the usual. So I just thought it would be kind of neat to do. Because, like, there's just something so zen about having a fantastic sniping sesh, you know what I mean? Like, you just, you just sit back, click on some heads, and then boom. I can do whatever I want from a distance. Fuck. My one weakness still targets. It's gonna lead me into my first, uh, into my first topic here. I really hate, like, the, the criticism of, of Pyro is like, oh, WM1. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a dumb thing. It's like, any action in this game is gonna sound brainless and stupid when you break it down into its fundamental, you know, actions, you know, besides, like, rocket jumping, that shit's fucking weird. But, like, literally getting any kill in this game is just pressing w and m1 you know or just it, it, it it's literally a matter of clicking a single button it's just such a stupid fucking argument and i i it's not that i don't understand where the where uh, like the criticism's coming from you know just eff effortlessly stupidly just walking into a crowd pressing one button and walking through but that's the same way it is with like a heavy you know Obviously, I'm not, I'm not saying pyro and heavy are the same. It's just when you break it down to the fundamental mouse clicks, they're, they're very, very similar. Because, <laughs> shocker, the controls of this game are not difficult, you know? I, I may be the, the fucking nerd emoji right now, but whatever, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you, stupid. Fool, you thought you could escape lactose? Nuh-uh. Can't stop the lactose. Ape! You thought you could f kill me, you fool. So, which one do you guys think is better? The the stock sniper rifle or the opera hand? You know, because I... I think the opera hand is just, is just better, honestly. I think it's I think it's it's better it's better than stock. It do, it does it does more damage. I I've noticed that it, it gets random crits a lot more than the um a lot more than stock does. Uh, which is which is pretty useful for like body shots and stuff when you need to make like a, a escapes and stuff like that. So you know at least there's that or like some coarse 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 dirt. It's like if or if you've found your face planted in some coarse. I literally saw his- OH FLYING BEAGLE! Oh shit! Never mind, I'm not upset anymore. I'm not upset. Absolute fucking certified chad right there, actually. Editor, you know what? I'm in such a jolly mood. Play Flying Beagle. Oh yeah. Now we're really- Now- Now we're cooking with uh, we're, we're- We're cooking with fire and playing with gas or whatever the hell it is. Oh. <laughs> you fool! You stupid bastard! Fuck! God, I I I know it's not fun at all to get shot. <laughs> Obviously, but I, I know it's like not fun to just get instantly deleted, you know, without even noticing. Uh, but man, is it fun to do it? Like just, 
You click on them once and then they're just back to the freaking respawn shit. How, why did I fall for that again? Alexa. Wait, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, editor. <laughs> uh, turn on the... Turn up the flying beagle. God damn it. Tur turn up the flying beagle. Die? Oh no, he's still alive. Not for long. Fuck off. That's just dumb. I couldn't rotate my mouse. He was clearly hacking, like speed hacking. I don't know, maybe like like a like a trick stab hack, I don't know. But but, but something was screwy there. Your ass is getting server muted. <laughs> you fool. Oh yeah. Bet you all got a boner from that one. Boner. Please, I just want to pop that medic. Pop that medic's little 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 blue cherry. Pop. Or the blue raspberry or something. Uh, just a good deal, raspberry, huh? Uh, you can call me Pot Belly Man. Uh, so you can give me a raspberry, huh? That's just fucked up. It's just not right. They should be allowed to do that. You know, so I was watching some old Mr. Beast videos. And then, uh, and I, I'll say, you know, he, uh... I genuinely... I genuinely do not know how he got that good... That good, that good, that sweet good rep, because, um... He kind of, he kind of, kind of always sucked, honestly. Uh, if you look past the, the... Like, I, I'm gonna talk about this more uh, on my podcast, The Stakeover, which you can listen to on YouTube and Spotify. Here's a clip. What character would have that dive trail? <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, the, the default one with the, uh, the, the blonde hair. With the Jonesy, yeah, it's here. Jonesy. I'm just imagining Jonesy, just like he turns around, um, unzips his pants, flops his cock out, and starts pissing. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh my god, yeah, and it's customizable. You can, he can either be flaccid or hard, or it can, it can be yellow or red. <laughs> <laughs> yellow, red, clear, or white. <laughs> Why? <laughs> or, or it can be slurp. But yeah, I'm probably going to talk about this more on the podcast. But I'll, I'll touch on it a little bit. You know, just to get some interest going. Uh, I I was watching through some old Mr. Beast videos tonight. And and he's kind of always sucked. You know, if, if, you, if you look past the, the, the fundamental baseline good deeds that he's done... It's kind of shitty and like like just the consequences of some of that shit just the you know I'm not I'm not you know conducting a full investigation here, but I've I've only delved uh, I, I've only hit shallow waters here, you know, I'm I'm no I've I've found very little um, uh, So far I've, I've only gotten like four videos that I've found that are really egregious but for an example, well, uh, one that I can think of that's just ha is is a very flashy idea, but an incredibly dickish move is the uh, excuse me uh, is to um, is is when he bought a car with pennies or coins really. Uh, it's it's like oh ha <laughs> ha it's kind of it's kind of a silly goofy I, I guess if you're like stupid. Or like nine years old, which Mr. Beast's audience is. I, I get it. You know, he's got his audience that he uh, has somehow managed to keep. Could you imagine, like, like after the cameras turn off, you know, after this guy, you know, this, these people at the dealership, you know, pretend to, you know, be excited that oh my god, you know, this is so crazy. You know, these are these are so many pennies. Har 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 har. You know, it's like. 
how do you think they felt after those cameras turned off? It's like, holy shit. What the fuck are we going to do with all these goddamn coins? It wouldn't be such an inconvenience if maybe he, he brought, like, all, all the coins encased in those fucking old-timey little coin cases. Or, like, the coin sleeves, whatever they're, whatever they're called. Whew. That was, that was, it was a good headshot, but I actually completely forgot what I was talking about. Oh, right, right, yeah. It would still be a huge pain in the ass, but it wouldn't be that bad if, uh, you know, the, the, if the coin thingies were in the coin case, but they weren't. You know, Mr. Beast and his, and his stupid idiot pals, you know, unra unwrapped them and put them in, like, wheelbarrows, those, those things. And, and, you know, it's just, it's a bunch of loose coins. What the fuck do you expect them to do with, with... $12,000 in coins. What? What? <laughs> oh my god. It's just like, and, and, and that's just one example of like, you know, Mr. Beast was never actually like good, or at least like the, the Mr. Beast that we, we know, like he was never really that good. He was always kind of an asshole. And, and there's another moment that I'll save for the podcast because it genuinely left me and my brother jaw agape you know just like wow <laughs> how how did how, why is no one talking about this one you know it's but I'll, I'll i'll save that one so if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna want the the filthy tea subscribe to the steak over podcast and uh yeah episode four will be out eventually you know, I'm gonna stop yapping because there's no gameplay, and I'm sure you guys are gonna are getting pretty bored. So, editor, super cut. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll talk about a couple more things with Jimmy. It's like it's so. I also saw a little series on his channel called uh, like how, like how much do these YouTubers make? Like how like it's just it's just a series of how of guessing how much YouTubers make, and it's just like why. And he also has a bunch of these other videos about blowing up on YouTube and. Just, just like basic hallmarks of channels that suck dickhole. It just sucks that everyone looked past all these very obvious, or at least it seems obvious in hindsight. I don't, I don't really know. It, it at least to me, it's just a lot of this stuff seen in, in these videos seems like recontextualized through what we allegedly know now about Jimmy and his friends. It's just like uh, some of those jokes were so have such a new gross meaning to them it's just it's, it's yucky some of the some of the jokes that jimmy and chris make and there's other goons i only know those two i would suggest uh you <laughs> if you're interested in mr beast at all going and like checking out those old videos before he purges those too because i know I, I don't know when he did this like if this is a recent thing but mr beast used to have a, a uh a series called the worst intros on YouTube. I think he also had the worst outros as well. But basically, all it was was a uh, it was a series where he would basically make fun of children and their horrible, low budget intros. And, they, and they, it was I thought it was funny at the time because it was you know I was like ten. It was like 2016 or some shit. I can't do math, so I was it was probably probably way off whatever either way um it was yeah i really enjoyed him at the time i feel like they haven't they wouldn't age super well now like at all because uh, it's it's very much a product of its time you know it's just a commentary video making fun of children's bad intros so maybe it's best that he purged every single one off of his channel you know er erasing all the evidence I can understand, you know, deleting videos sometimes. For certain reasons, you know, if you did like an editing error, you need to upload a different, or like a, the right version or something like that, you know? I, I get that, but I don't know. I, and I, I just don't have a whole lot of respect for deleting videos. I think there's obviously not every case of deleting a video is, is cowardly and dumb, but I just feel like most of the time there's really no reason to delete a video. You know, unless it's like really fucking bad. 
you know, if it's gonna like get your channel taken down for like copyright or some shit, yeah, you know, I, I would understand that. Maybe that's what happened. You know, maybe someone false falsely claimed the videos. I I don't know what the situation is behind that, but I'm gonna assume uh, I'm, I'm gonna assume it, it's just because it kind of shits on the image that um that Jimmy's got now, because he would make fun of the exact people that watch him. So it's uh. It just wouldn't be too great now for him, so I, I get it. I'm disappointed because I'd like to see those videos again. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to like find them and like use them as evidence of why Mr. Beast was terrible. Quite the contrary, actually, I thought they were kind of cool. Like I thought those were fine videos, sort of. So I'm just, it's, it's just kind of sad, really, because at least for me, a big part of. YouTube and what makes it cool. It's actually a big reason why I started the Stakeover is because it's just such an interesting little time capsule in every single like second, you know? It's just, I love it. It's, it's, I totally forgot. You know, I'm a little forgetful these days. I, I, I can't tell you why I'm forgetful, but I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can put the pieces together why I'm so forgetful. But I'm a little forgetful tonight. <laughs> A little bit of a, a little bit of some Winnie the Pooh action. Yeah, you know, my my little thinker doesn't work too well. Right? Yeah, yeah. So the internet is like a it's like a neat little time capsule, especially in that where, like with Mr. Beast's uh, worst intros series, that was a series, you know. That's a quote unquote era of Mr. Beast that uh, is it just isn't there, you know. Even beyond just the entertainment value of it, it's just like. Channels are an interesting timeline of, of of the people that make them, you know, and 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 part of Mr. Beast's timeline is just missing because uh, I don't know. Right, but it turns out Mr. Beast wasn't wasn't too great after all, or at least it's how it seems. I'm not gonna say 100%. It's just cards are very much stacked against him, I think. Yeah, I don't really see uh, Jimmy coming out of this one. It's kind of irrefutable, like the the, the 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 war crime. Now, whether you want to actually call, because it's technically 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 not a war crime, because because Jake wasn't a a, a prisoner of war. Um, however, um, in a way, in certain context contexts. He's a prisoner to Mr. Beast in a way, you know, there's a the very real possibility of if he says no to continuing this little challenge. I, I didn't explain any of this, so, so in, a, in a little expose video by Dogpack404, it's the second one, Jake, Jake Waddle, he's a guy who's on the video, and the Mr. Beast and all that shit, and he was like, I guess this guy is this guy's very good, this place isn't very good, I don't like this stuff. And then Mr. Beast was like, hey, hey, man, so we're going to do a video and you're going to be in solitary confinement for a really, really, really long time. I hope you're okay with that. And he's like, okay, I don't know about this. And he's like, well, it's got a hot tub and ice cream. And, and Jake's like, okay. Obviously, it's a very misleading thing because the hot tub sucks and the ice cream machine stream sucks. Uh, you know, so, of course, classic Mr. Beast. Fuck. Okay, um... Never mind, brought it back in the end. I can't really think of anything to say right now, so, uh, editing me in the future, uh, I'm gonna stop talking, and then you make, like, a cool little montage of, like, the next, I don't know, until I come up with something to say, and then, and then like, put some cool music in the background, too, all right? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up now. I, I hope this is really epic. I, I trust your judgment. Good shit. All right, cheers. Okay, so the game just decided to up and crash, so I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. You know, I've got X-Men Origins Wolverine to watch, so I, I'm gonna 
go do that. You know, you have yourself a fantastic night. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, check out my podcast in the description down below. And uh, yeah, see you.